In this week's quick tip, I'm gonna show you a super cheap piece of photography kit that I use all the time to get really sweet reflection shots and you, you can too, it's really easy. Now I've used this technique for years at, at weddings, shooting jewelry, maybe shooting rings or something like that, or maybe maybe like the groom has a really cool watch on, I'll take that and I'll create a reflection image with it. But I get asked a lot about like, how do you do that at every wedding or how are you able to do it? Do you just find something reflective at every wedding you go to? And the answer is, no, I have a I have a very cheap piece of kit that I bring to every wedding. And I'm gonna tell you guys about that today, but first a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's quick tip, but, but all quick tips on this channel. If you ever get anything out of these quick tips on this channel, a massive thank you to Epidemic Sound. They're the soundtrack of this channel and I've been using them ever since I started taking YouTube seriously. See, back when I was kind of first making videos for this channel, I was using royalty free music. I was trying to find free royalty free music, which meant that I spent hours of my time searching the internet for songs that I could use in my videos, like decent songs. I would use them and then like a month later, I would find out they were not royalty free and I would get a copyright strike on my YouTube channel. So when I was getting serious about this channel, I realized that that was gonna be this massive hurdle that I needed to overcome. I needed to find new music for every single video that I was gonna make and that didn't seem feasible the way that I was doing it before. But then I found Epidemic Sound and for $15 a month or $12 if you pay for the full year, I got access to over 35,000 music tracks and that problem was solved. I've been using them ever since and if you are getting serious about your YouTube channel in 2022, if you really wanna focus on making your channel better, I can guarantee you that Epidemic Sound is gonna save you time and headache of, of finding music. They just make it easy. First link in the description, free trial, sign up, use my code, get a discount, all that stuff. Okay, how do I create those, those ring shot reflection images? You can do rings, but you can also do any like small item. Although, if you just got a bigger thing, then you, you could do any size thing, you just need the right size piece of this stuff. This stuff right here, which I keep in my bag covered with microfiber, because it's just, uh, this is this stuff. This is black acrylic sheet. It comes with either covered in this or like this one's just like covered in a plastic that you peel off like that. And when you peel it off, you get this super high gloss reflective plastic sheet. Now this is the quarter inch version. I normally just get the eighth inch version because it's cheaper, but this is all they had right now. So this was, I think $10 for a 12 by 12 square of black glossy acrylic plastic on Amazon. And the reason I only have one side peeled off right now, this side isn't peeled off yet, is because it will get scratched over time. It's just plastic. So again, I keep it like this in my bag with this over it. And then I put this in my Pelican case and close it up nicely. But just in the process of using it, you're gonna get scratches on it, it's gonna get beat up. But don't worry, because once it's too beat up, you just flip it over, you peel this side off, and you have a brand new, fresh, perfectly non-scratched piece of black acrylic plastic which happens to be super reflective. But because it's black, it, it really only reflects the highlight. So anything that's dark, like right now, it's just kind of seeing dark things, you don't see it in the image. But when I kind of come here, see my face is being lit, so that's reflecting into the plastic and coming up in your seat. You're seeing also the light that's above my head, that's reflecting. So you only see the highlights in your image, only things on your subject that are actual highlights will reflect off this and bounce up and you see them in the camera. Anything that's dark doesn't show up on here. Now there also is, white acrylic plastic, which I don't think I have. I think I scratched my last piece and I don't have any right now. So I just have black, but the white acrylic plastic, it does the same thing, but kind of in reverse. The highlights are hidden and only the mid-tones and the shadows from your subject are gonna reflect off that plastic and up into the image. All the highlights are gonna be hidden by the fact that it's white plastic. Okay, a few things to note here. Now, this basically works like a mirror. Now again, because it's black, you're not seeing the shadows, but it's still working like a mirror. So any sort of light that's in the background there, if you get it at the right angle, you're going to see here. So you might only want you might only want your subject in the shot, but if your subject is is here and you're photographing it, see how all like even the blue on the walls is reflecting into here. Everything in the background will reflect off this plastic into your lens and be a part of your shot, which can be cool. Like if you were like, "Oh, I want this cool yellow background." You could shoot it like this and look. Hmm? Huh? Not as cool yellow in your shot. <laughs> But the idea being that you have to be mindful about what your background is. If you just want it totally blacked out, just run a, a seamless piece of black paper behind it and you'll essentially black out the image and only the highlights of your subject will show up and the rest of the image should go mostly black. Now, the second thing to note with this setup here is that you end up with a horizon in your image normally. It depends on kind of your depth of field and what's behind it, but you will, like if you're shooting like this, 
See, there is a horizon in the image. One cool way that I like to break that up at weddings if I'm shooting rings is I'll take the bride's bouquet and I'll actually lay it on the black plastic. So the flowers are reflecting down onto the plastic. I put the rings inside that reflection and then you kind of don't have a horizon. It's kind of more like the flowers are reflected down and the rings are just kind of in that mix. And then the last thing to note here is this works with any camera. So you could be shooting something like the a7 IV, something like that, or, or I see people do this with their iPhones all the time. They take their iPhones, I see the trick where they take one iPhone and use someone else's iPhone and you kind of reflect the lights of a night cityscape or something like that. But it would be much better if you uh, brought this along. Flip your camera upside down like that and the world becomes reflected. But it is a, a super fast and super easy way to get really dope reflection images anywhere that you are. Because a lot of times you kind of show up somewhere and you go, I don't really, there's not really a lot going on. There's really nothing that, that looks good. And you pull this out of your case and you go, now I have awesomeness anywhere. And definitely keep one of these on top of it in your case. Also, like when you're there, like you're trying to, you wanna like make it as clean as possible, but. And that is your quick tip for the week. I hope that this helps you guys. Grab your camera, grab a $10 piece of plastic at the link below and, and just make something cool. Shoot whatever you wanna. Like again, you could shoot, you could shoot a GoPro on it. You could shoot kind of anything you want on black reflective plastic and it looks super. Oh, it also comes in larger sizes. So if you're shooting something bigger, like if I was gonna shoot this, I would probably want a piece that was a little bit longer cause I'd wanna be back for this. So I got more of this reflection down onto the image. I'll link some of the, the large larger black pieces as well and white pieces below. But again, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that you make something cool with this, with this very uh, cheap and quick tip. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Hey, this week's quick tip. <laughs> uh, starting is hard.